All right, so moving forward with the painted build of the Neo Xeon SD kit. I uh, made sure that this thing was dry. And now I'm going to give it the white color, cool white. It's going to be a bit tough here because of the positioning of this. Now even though this has been primed and I gave it a appreciating, even the, the redness of this kit is still showing through. So I definitely need to give it uh, layers and layers of white in order for me to cover the red. one pass, which I'm going to do with another pass later on. I won't bore you with me painting all these parts. I'm going to paint a few. Here's uh, part of the arm, or actually the back arm. I didn't realize, of course, with this, you gotta paint the inside because the inside is red as well. something a little bit bigger. One thing about me appreciating is when you do it, if you make a mistake, it can get covered up in the overall scheme of things with the with the extra layer of paint over it. It's almost like cheating. But it makes sense in, in certain aspects. Pretty good, but it's not done yet. I gotta give it an extra, uh, an extra layer. And 
now for this to be complete. Let me pull out one more part and then see here. Oh, okay. The fuel tanks. Or the leggy tanks. I'm just going to invest my time with me uh, airbrushing all these red parts and then when I'm done we'll do a review of all the parts and see how it comes out. Alright, so here's a small sample of some of the parts that I have pre-shaded. Especially something like this that I did. Um, came out pretty well. The one thing, of course, painting it white, I say pre shaded excuse me. The one thing about, of course, painting it white is that if you do a first layer, if you don't clean up, this is my mistake, if you well, I've noticed that when I spray my first layer, I get these little, little, like little hair or fibers or something that sticks onto the paint. That was on the first um, on the first pass. So once I finish and I decided to do a second pass after a couple of hours, I took a my um, very fine sand, uh, sanding brush, uh, sanding pad. This is a 320 from 3M, uh, 3X Norton 3X. Norton. And I began to lightly remove the leftover particles that were on top of the paint. Then I made sure that the next layer went on nice and smooth without any more particles. And the result came out okay. Some areas feel a little rough, but eh, what are you going to do? The overall effect was okay. Of course, I kind of made some mistakes here and there. I noticed that, uh, I guess... I may have oversaturated the white a bit, and I may have lost the uh, appreciating. But regardless, I think it's okay. Like this one came out okay. Look at this with the appreciating. That's fine. Um, I did appreciating on this one, but you can oh, nearly barely see it. Nearly. And uh, they hit the feet. There's a portion there and there, but not not nothing that's significant. Granted, it covered up the entire red because red is a bitch to to cover up. I mean, even if I even though I primed it, it's the second layer or the third layer of paint that should, of course, cover the whole thing up. So that was a, a pain in the ass for me to work on. Um, some of the parts that worked with the pre shading was like this. Um, this came out okay. Yeah, that came out all right. I, I guess I'm going to have to somehow mask this, mask all this, and then give this the extra color, the other color, to make it, you know. And then, of course, this, which I'm going to try. I did say I may want to do a reverse wash because it's so small and it's going to take time consuming. I think I'm going to do it hand, hand brush because it is sticking up a little high and I should be able to maybe apply the paint that I want. I think I'm going to try black. Gold may not be a good idea. I've been thinking of another color, but I haven't I haven't committed to that yet. Um, now I didn't paint some other parts that I need to work on, which of course uh, the black that's on the Sinanju. But I did paint all the inner frame parts, um, the dark gray like this beam rifle, 
and uh, oh, this one, this big ass under undercarriage of the uh, undercarriage of the um, of the Neo G uh, Neo Zeon SD, which came out okay, but I'm not impressed with it. I don't know why. It doesn't it doesn't feel right for some odd reason. Fortunately. I have something that may um, that may change that. This is Mr. Metal Color Iron. I picked this up at uh, Gundam Planet, and I remember seeing a video that McConaughey did a long time ago on reviewing this. And I'm going to review the video again. Basically, it's a, it's a buff type paint where you apply the paint. It'll look a little fuzzy. I think you have to wait a certain period of time, not too much, and then using a cloth, a lint-free cloth, you buff out the uh, what, what accumulated, and it comes up with an interesting shine. I want to try that. Excuse me. I want to try that on the inner, on the gray parts, like this part here, especially this one here the side armor parts that goes on it there and of course especially the beam hand the the particle beam hands those are the parts that I want to work on so I want to try this and see how it works don't worry I'm not going to show you on video me spraying it in my next segment it will I'll I'll, tr I'll you know buff it and show it to you now on a side note, I'd like to take a moment of show, to show you guys something. I know many of you are probably pissed at me because I'm making this and not doing other things. Well, that doesn't mean that I'm not doing other things on video. It doesn't mean I'm not doing it at all. Remember these? Light up there. This is the um, the covers for the um, the Gatling cannons that's on the Proto Zero. I took them off from the body and I just airbrushed them um, um, the amount of paint that it needed because it was a little off when I put them on. As you, as you see here, I'm going to put this on now. Hopefully it came out okay. I had to be very careful removing this. I was afraid I was going to pop this out and break it. But, as you can see, It's nice and even and flush. And, of course, the back has been covered up as well. Let me do the same thing. While I was uh, preparing this, there were other things that I forgot to do on the Proto Zero. And I said to my, and I think I said to myself, you know what, I might as well do this. So I took the opportunity to do a few things that will help me prepare this kit a little bit more. I did say that I want to detail the Proto Zero far far more than what, what it was before, so I began to... Uh, let me show you. First I began... You would think I would have this prepared in the head of time, but here we go. So. I covered, I applied masking tape on, along here so I can paint this. And the color that I'm going to paint is going to be light gull gray to give it a two tone effect. So I have this here ready. I have this ready, as you can see. And this was a pain in the ass to remove from the wings, let me tell you something. Especially since I had to remove it so that way later on I have to paint this one the metallic gray so it can be all nice and flush. Remember that? Uh, let me see here. The shoulder, the uh, forearm parts has been paint has been covered up for me to paint as you can see. And the one that I had uh, the tremendous amount of work that was a pain in the ass to do but I did it is the legs. So I'm going to do the two-tone part on the front part of here. 
these little parts here, this back here, this part here and here, this here, and that here. So, I got these ready. The one thing I didn't cover up, oh, I almost forgot, and a portion of the, um, the bunny ears off his head. The one thing I did not cover up was on the shield, because I think the shield is pretty much perfect as it is. Maybe it's a little too much for me to put that on. And uh, the shoulders doesn't need to. I don't think it requires that either way, because there's not that much detail to make it a two-tone effect. Yes, I know. Many people will say you could do it, but I'm not going to do it. The feet does not require that as well. It came out pretty well, good as well, so I don't need that. So that's pretty much it. That's the course that I'm going with. So, in my next video, you guys will see the results of the of this.